Installing Mosaic Tiles Mosaic tiles can be used on a wall to create a colorful background to a decor or simply to add small bursts of color. These tiles are easy to install and harmonize well with other types of tiles. Here, mosaic tiles are used to create a backsplash in a kitchen. Before the installation, make sure that the surface of the walls is smooth and flat. If you're tiling over a painted wall, lightly sand the surface first. Here's the list of tools and materials for this project. Before you start, switch off the power to electrical outlets and take out decorative wall plates and other accessories anchored to the wall. Protect the countertop and other surfaces. To determine the layout of the mosaic tiles, draw a vertical line in the center of the area to be tiled. Then, draw a horizontal line to mark the position of the first row. Install a tile finishing trim at the edge of the tiled surface with flat head nails. Using a 3 16 of an inch notch trowel, spread a thin coat of tile adhesive over a small section of wall to one side of the vertical line. Hold the trowel at a 45 degree angle. Cover an area of three to four linear feet at a time. With the notched side of the trowel, make grooves in the adhesive. The grooves should all be made in the same direction. Dampen the adhesive if it starts to harden. Lay the first mosaic tile sheet. Cut sheet to fit if necessary. Place tile spacers along the countertop so the tiles don't rest directly on it. Later, silicone will seal the gap between the two materials. Gently push the sheet into the adhesive to make sure it adheres well to the wall. If the adhesive squeezes up through the joints, remove the tile sheet, spread out the adhesive, and start again. Lightly tap the tiles with a rubber mallet to make sure the sheets are firmly set on the wall. Continue installing the first row of mosaic tile sheets working from the center of the wall outwards. Separate each sheet with tile spacers to ensure even spacing. The gap between each sheet should be the same width as the gap between the individual tiles. With a level, check that the tiles are flat and even. Adjust with a rubber mallet if necessary. Cover the entire surface section by section. To work around electrical outlets, cabinets, or other objects, take the necessary measurements for the cut. Then, use a tile nipping tool, a grinder, or a wet saw. To install individual pieces of mosaic tile, measure the space to cover, then cut individual tiles from a sheet. If needed, wet the surface of the tile and cut to size with the tile nipping tool. Apply adhesive on the back of the tile piece and press in place. When all the tiles are installed, wipe off excess adhesive with a damp sponge. Wait 24 to 48 hours before grouting. Mix the grout according to the manufacturer's instructions. The grout's color should be even and have the consistency of toothpaste. Remove the tile spacers and dampen the mosaic with clean water. Using a rubber grout float, work the grout into the joints. Hold the float at a 45 degree angle. Apply the grout section by section on a surface of 10 square feet at a time. Don't apply grout to gaps separating the tiles from another type of material, like the countertop or cabinets. Remove excess grout. Then, clean the surface with a damp sponge, working diagonally over the tiles. Rinse the sponge often, using as little water as possible so as not to dilute the grout. After 24 hours when the grout is completely dry, apply grout sealer to the joints. Finally, after about 10 days, caulk the expansion joints with silicone sealer. For more advice on tiling, visit rona.ca.